Hello and welcome to this video. I am Karnesh Jauri and this video is about Rsync, an amazing file copying program. How often do you copy files? You copy files when you want to try another version, make some changes, you copy files for taking backups and you copy files to a remote server. You copy files quite often. And Rsync definitely simplifies copying files. Rsync is a command to synchronize files. If there is a source file tree and there is a destination file tree, after Rsync has done its job, the destination should be a superset of source or exactly the same depending upon the options used. The syntax of Rsync is Rsync options source destination. The most common use Rsync command is Rsync minus AVZ source destination. Why use rsync? Why not use any other file copying program? For example, the good old CP program for copying files. The reason is that rsync is an intelligent and fast file copying program. A default file copying program like CP is a brute force program. CP would blindly copy source files to the destination. rsync checks whether the concerned files really need to be copied. It does so by comparing the file modification times and sizes at the source and destination. If either of these are different, rsync copies source files to the destination. rsync tries to minimize the data transferred over the network. Suppose there are different versions of a file at source and destination. Then the file is broken down into chunks and only the chunks that differ are transferred from the source to the destination and at the end of transfer, the destination file matches the source file. How does rsync help in local file copying? First, you copy files recursively. If a file is a directory, then all files in it are also copied. Second, if you use rsync with sudo, you can match all attributes like owner, group, permissions, etc of the destination with that of the source. And you can use the same command for local and remote transfers. The rsync command syntax is rsync options source destination. Both source and destination can be a file or a directory. In case of source, if src is terminated by a slash, then the contents of src are copied in destination dst. However, if you skip the slash and just mention src, then src directory is created in the dst directory and contents of src are copied there. Suppose we have two directories a and b in our home directory and directory a has files x and y and directory b has files p and q. From the home directory, we give the command rsync minus r a slash space b then the contents of a are copied inside b however if we give the command rsync minus r a b then directory a with its contents is copied inside directory b in the rsync command either both source and destination can be local files or at least one of them must be local that is we can rsync local files to remote system or vice versa but we cannot rsync files between two remote hosts. Now we look at options. Minus R recurs into directories. Minus L copy symlinks, symlinks as symlinks. Minus P preserve permissions. Minus T preserve modification times. Minus G preserve group. Minus O preserve owner. Minus minus devices preserve device files. Minus G minus O minus minus devices can be used when the user has super user permissions on the destination machine. Minus minus specials preserve special files. Minus D is same as minus minus devices or minus minus specials. And for all these, there is a nice shorthand minus A which is same as minus R L P T G O D. So most of the times, Use the option minus A, which means all the preceding options. 
then there are more options which are not so frequently used minus u skip files that are newer in destination minus minus delete delete files in destination which are not in source minus minus exclude is equal to pattern exclude files with names matching the pattern minus minus exclude hyphen from is equal to file exclude files with names matching patterns given in the file minus minus include is equal to pattern minus minus include from file minus v verbose which is quite commonly used minus h human readable minus minus progress display progress of file transfer and minus g or minus minus compress compress the file data during the transfer the most common use of rsync is of the form rsync minus avz source destination and if you are using rsync for local file copy and want to preserve the file owner group values and device files you can execute rsync with sudo sudo rsync minus avz source destination if you want the destination to become an exact copy of source you want to delete all files at destination that are not in the source you can use minus minus delete option and the command is rsync minus avz minus minus delete source destination if you wish to exclude file foo from the copy you can use minus minus exclude option and the command is rsync minus avz minus minus exclude is equal to foo source destination using rsync for remote file copy the basic command is rsync minus avz source destination for rsync to work with a remote system there has to be a process running on the remote system to facilitate the file transfer it turns out that secure shell that is the open ssh server must be running on the remote system and luckily this is often the case now suppose we wish to transfer files from the local system to the remote system we need to specify the user id and remote host ip address and the command is rsync minus avz src user id at remote host colon abc this will transfer files from the source directory to the abc directory on the remote host it will transfer files to the abc directory under the user's home directory also you have to specify the password on the remote system if you use public private key pair for accessing the remote system you can give the command as rsync minus avz minus e ssh minus i mykey.pem src username at remote host colon abc the file mykey.pem contains the private key corresponding to the public key stored at the remote host in the home directory as dot ssh slash authorized keys if you are transferring big files you can specify the minus minus progress option and the command is rsync minus avz minus e ssh minus i mikey dot pem minus minus progress source username at remote host colon abc and we come to the end of this video you can find all this information at https colon double slash bit dot ly slash rsync hyphen all please subscribe to my channel thanks very much for watching take care and stay safe